This is Brenda with the Valley High Family Resource Center. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to Minds and Rhymes. For today's video, we will be learning about the letter Q and the number 17. Hola, buenas tardes y bienvenidos a Animas y Rimas. Para este video, vamos a aprender sobre la letra Q y el número 17. All right, so we'll start off by writing the letter Q. And that one is just a big circle with a line at the bottom. Okay, and now the number 17. So one and seven. All right, so for this craft, you will need either markers, crayons, or colored pencils, different colored construction paper, and these can be any color, tissue paper, scissors, glue, and some string. All right, so for the first step here, you wanna take your different colored construction paper, and again, you can use any colors for this, and your scissors, and you're gonna to wanna to cut all of these uh, papers into four pieces. So we're gonna cut down the long side and the short side, like this. Okay, and now for the really fun part, I'm gonna take my markers or my crayons or colored pencils and I'm gonna make different designs on each of my squares. So you can really just draw whatever you want. If you wanna draw a picture, a design, a shape, if you wanna just color it in, um, you can just feel free to do that however you want and then uh, we will go from there. All right, so once you have your designs on all of your little squares, you can go ahead and arrange them back the way you had them. So rows of three, three, and three. All right, and then for the next step, you're gonna take all of your squares once they're all lined up, and you're just gonna start gluing them next to each other. And that's gonna make our big quilt. All right, and next up, we're gonna go ahead and decorate our quilt with our string. So I've just cut out a few different pieces of different colors and I'm just gonna use it to glue along the border. And then for the very last step here, I've cut out a few pieces of tissue paper. I'm just gonna scrunch these up one by one and use them to decorate my quilt. All right, and there we go. That is how we make our quilt for the letter Q. 
So it's a bunch of decorating and coloring different squares, putting them together, and then decorating it all. All right, and that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this craft. And as always, please comment, like, and share your images with our Facebook and our Instagram. Thanks so much. See you next week. Bye.